Hello dear viewers of UATV English channel. Today we're going to talk about a very interesting topic uh, which I'm sure bothers many of our foreign friends but makes um, love most of Ukrainians, maybe even hysterically. So we're going to talk whether Ukraine should await for a dire, a deadly attack uh, on Kyiv, maybe entire Ukraine, with 100 missiles. Maybe even 100 and one, I don't know. You guess, so we can guess numbers, figures, when it will happen. Uh, but we probably shouldn't. So what do you think? What should we expect after the Kursk region one operation? Question. Which time 100 rockets this year? Yay! That's a good question. And also, I'd like to ask uh, our viewers, how many times have we already seen 100 missiles? Only in 2024. No one. Uh, there, there are. Uh, there are. Uh, as I remember, only once it was more than 100. More than 100. So yes, once. It, it, it was once in 2022. Okay. But, no, no, no. In 2022, it was several times. Yeah, about several 100. times, not once, I guess. But uh, um, we'll have to fact check. Uh, we are, <laughs> we I, are I professionals. We we should do this, uh, right? Before the <laughs> yeah, before, maybe before we actually record the podcast. But okay. yeah, I'm sure it was a couple of times because each time there was 90 plus missiles. Uh, I was staying up late on the channel because uh, there was no light in the whole of Kiev. There was no mobile connection, and I had to stay uh, for the night on the, on the work. You see a problem when you now Google 100 and missiles or drones, mm -hmm. uh, just like, you know, a, a quick check, uh, you will see that uh, actually Ukraine attacked Russia with 100 <laughs> drones. Um, and 17. Yes. Uh, it was like the, the recent, the biggest attack on Russian air bases, according right? According to uh, Russian Ministry yeah, of Yeah, according to, of course, Russian Ministry of Defense. Yeah, if we believe the Russian Ministry of Defense, they also uh, destroyed all of them and like 100 drones and four missiles so yeah that's the numbers but still you know what what we are trying to say is that it's not the first time ukraine is under the threat of a big russian attack with missiles a uh, ballistic particularly north where, korean ballistic missiles yes w w which is the problem because they're very chaotic like the, the problem like because it doesn't even matter because uh, Russians do not target strictly you know like military targets uh, so it's not very um, important but still the problem is that uh, Korean missiles just fall apart in the air um, good news sometimes maybe for our air forces but I'm not sure good news for civilians so what do you think about this like uh, big 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 talks about the fact we're gonna face an attack uh, soon my first point is that if maybe today maybe tomorrow maybe in one week one mm -hmm. month one year russia will strike ukraine with, with 100 missile it is a question why they do right now because we had uh, uh, Ukra ukrainian offensive operation is, is lasting nine days and la nine days they are waiting they are preparing so why Be because you don't have because such a number. of 117 ukrainian drones which hit the airfields where they were assembling the missiles uh, may, may, uh, the main topic of uh, this uh, revenge of mm -hmm. 100 missiles on kiev is a revenge on the offensive kursk. on kursk and but actually I'm it will be called as revenge i'm even disappointed everyone was waiting for nuclear weapons what do you what do you mean only 100 m ballistic missiles maybe wasn't it supposed to be like a red line that would lead to a very big escalation actually dmitry medvedev stopped nuclear threats after the kursk operation started everyone in russia stopped, stopped. they stopped nuclear i haven't threats. heard anything about nuclear weapons mm -hmm. when kursk happened like wh why is that wasn't it supposed to be like even more in the media space um, I thought. I think that the Kremlin, uh, the Kremlin authorities, uh, they, they have the idea that they could um, operate in Kursk region without using of nuclear weapons. 
because because uh, they understand that if they will use a nuclear weapon, it will be a response from the NATO countries, not from Ukraine. Because using of nuclear weapon is a, it's a red, 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 brown, red, 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 red line. But if they use it in the territory of Russia? Mm, uh, it, uh, it don't, <laughs> you know, um, knowing uh, about the quality of Russian missiles, mm -hmm. <laughs> it could be uh, in the uh, in the mine of uh, mm -hmm. nuclear weapon. Uh, where, uh, the launch side. In the launch. Mm -hmm. So uh, it could be, uh, this, uh, even Simonian, as I remember, uh, supposed uh, to use um, nuclear weapon uh, over the um, Siberia uh, to, uh, uh, it was uh, like, to intimidate, like, uh, yeah. like half a year ago, uh, to use a nuclear weapon over the Siberia because this will lead to the um, uh, magnetic disaster and all e electronics in the world will stop uh, working and only Russians know how to live without electronics. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't have to convince ourselves. Yeah, like, so it's like for most foreigners who thought that it would lead to nuclear escalation. And I would just uh, like to read, um, this is from the article by Peter Dickinson uh, on um, Atlantic Council. So he wrote this. It is already clear that Ukraine's decision to invade Russia has succeeded in making a complete mockery of Vladimir Putin's red lines and the West's fears of escalation. Yes. This so, like you see, not only it's been nine days, basically nothing happened, and Putin is actually uh, now tries to uh, make conscripts who are like 18, 20 years old to fight in the Kursk region. And they actually 100 more surrendered, uh, according to general staff, yeah. this morning. This morning, already posted on UATV English, you know, like our Telegram, our Twitter, our Facebook, you can already see that news there. And by the way, I'd like to emphasize there are uh, some of them are from Ahmad which is like a very well known in Russia. And it's funny that uh, we saw a lot of... Not, but... No. <laughs> there, you had to show some moves from TikTok, because as we know, Ahmed's soldiers are very good at TikToks, but not very good at fighting. So yeah, uh, we saw a lot of videos where Russians were like, oh, where is Ahmad? Please come save us. And like, we only see them among uh, captured soldiers. There, there's also a lot of mockery that they retreat behind the backs yes. of conscripts, of Russian conscripts, yes. which are from 18 to 20 years old. Yeah, so like Ahmad is great at TikToks, but they like to yeah, like hide behind young guys yeah. uh, from Murmansk uh, who were just like, you know, th thrown and uh, to Kursk region. Yeah, and uh, returning to this Kursk after the threats of 100 missiles, we see that basically uh, the entire professional military capable army of Russia is engaged in Ukraine in this yep. moment, and they are basically defenseless all over the border, uh, all borders of Russia except for the Ukrainian front, because like Kursk is 200, 300 kilometers from Pokrovsk, from the main direction of fight. No, it's no, no, Kursk is very... Uh, it's very close, huh? No, oh, no, no, mm. it's far... It, it's, uh, Kursk uh, exactly like the city is not that close. But uh, the border, the it, border it's, yeah. it's like, uh, it's like, um, uh, like uh, near the Sumer. Su like Sumer Su and Pokrovsk. Yeah, yeah. Very I, close. I mean, Suja is close, but Kursk I mean, it's is not. a direct border with Ukraine and there's a uh, major fighting nearby and that border was defenseless. I imagine uh, the border, entire border with China, the yeah, Mongolia, think, like if I was a Russian, Finland. Thank God I'm not. If I was a Russian, I would think, oh wow, so Putin cares more about some cities in Ukraine, like Pokrovsk, and like we all know this meme about Donbass, Donbass, dead boss, I don't know, there are a lot of names, uh, when Russians don't even know where Donbass is, what cities are located there. But still, their authorities are more interested in these cities than their own, than their own Suja, their own Kursk region. Now, I would not like that. I would be outraged by the fact that all the forces are in Ukraine and there is no one to defend the Kursk region. And if the NATO attacks them tomorrow, Oh, no, no, uh, it's not correct uh, from the very beginning because they are already fighting NATO, ah, okay, according to okay. Russians. So why don't they like invade Russia from Finland, from Baltic states? 
I don't know why that's not be, happening. Be, be, because, but... because NATO, you do, don't know, mm-hmm. because NATO saving their, uh, the lives of their citizens, but <gasps> want to kill all the Ukrainians. Ah, yes, sure, sure. Because, and because the mercenaries are also, there is a mercenaries in the Kursk region. It's NATO mercenaries. Yes, yeah. yes. And, and, uh, and uh, that's why, uh, uh, as you know, all the Ukrainian uh, soldiers were killed um, without any aim in the Kursk. And it will end in one day, two mm-hmm, days, mm-hmm. three day. so they nine for, days. For the ninth day, they, days. they've been destroying uh, southern Ukrainian soldiers in Kursk region and like uh, stabilizing the front uh, far, far away from the border each day uh, more, m- Maybe, more but, distant. But, uh, but you know, this, uh, this information about, uh, I want to come back to the 100 missiles, uh, Every, uh, everyone uh, in West afraid of this 100 missiles. So maybe it's not uh, afraid, it's worrying about us, but... Mm. Huh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, they are afraid right. that... They are afraid because Putin threatened to target with missiles European capitals. Uh, so um, Ukraine is attacking Kursk and Putin uh, revenge on the Western capitals. Yeah, he's had that mm-hmm. ultimatum, yes. uh, like, stop supporting Ukraine or we will nuke uh, your capitals. That's not, like, never happening, ever, never, as long as we are alive. Mm-hmm. At least you. Nothing <laughs> is impossible. Years gap. But you know what? We also should mention uh, the fact, like, what Russian uh, propaganda says also, from what I've seen on Twitter and Facebook. Uh, what do you think about this like theory that huh, Ukrainians will be defeated the same way Nazi Germany was defeated under Kursk? Mm. They like this theory so much. Like Kursk is definitely becoming like a symbol, you know, at this point, like the boat, the battle of Kursk. So they say like, oh, no, no, like this is like a a suicide. This is a suicide mission for Ukrainians. They will be just like destroyed. Like, Like if Nazis could not make it, then Ukraine shouldn't even hope for anything. Mm, I, (laughs) you see, the. I like this information, this m- memes in uh, different social media about um, Nazis, no, not Nazis, sorry, German tanks. German tanks is attacking. Uh, yeah, so like now <laughs> the, group it's of all, uh, the group of army center. Mikola, <laughs> yeah. there's no leopards, fall back. Uh, yeah, you know, all the terms like from the World War Two, they're like coming back, all yes, these flashbacks. And, and everyone, and everyone um, mm, supposed to Putin, uh, not supposed, but mm, Uh, give an advance to Putin to ask some weapons from US because yeah, <laughs> it's time for land you know, yes. like it, yeah. will, it will help. Maybe in not this time, but previous time, it uh, it helps. Um, uh, Ukraine will lose in Kursk. You see, mm, uh, I I don't think that uh, Kursk will be the decisive pol- uh, the, the decisive point uh, in the terms of uh, war of military war. It is a decisive point in the terms of geopolitics because it is ideological victory. It's more like information um, victory, informational. Like, you know, for, for it's, it's it's not 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 just uh, information. It's also also it's a humanitarian win for of Ukraine because you see nine days since the beginning of uh, Ukrainian advance in Kursk, there are no evidence from Russian about some. Mercenaries about some Nazis, about some yeah, s- about atrocities. They are trying very no atrocities. hard, but, they tr- d- but yes, there, there are there are some some words about uh, boys in uh, underwear. Of course, <laughs> like it's like, and our favorite video about Macola, Macola, no, 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 no layer parts. Yeah. Please, if you haven't seen this, try look it up on the internet. Also, uh, I've just uh, watched through a video where a Russian old lady thanks Ukrainian soldiers for not destroying her house. While entering the... What about uh, ladies that ask for a lift? They're yeah. like, hey, God, like, you know, you can say it's like propaganda, blah, blah, blah. But literally, uh, it's obvious that the the babushkas in the Kursk region... In broken Ukrainian surgic. Yeah, so uh, the one lady, so she even said, like, I'm not a Ukrainian, but I speak Ukrainian. And she basically asked the Ukrainian soldier for a lift. She was like, you know, my, my, my legs hurt, so... Mm-hmm. It wouldn't hurt anyone. Yeah, and also the answer was very polite from uh, our guys. Uh, it, it's always funny, like watching them uh, laughing and being in a good mood in Suja while patrolling the the city. 
Yes, and and that's why it's an ideological point because uh, we, uh, uh, of course Russian. Uh, I think Russian will use uh, this advance if they will liberate some territory mm -hmm. that uh, 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 they will um, make some. Um, some footages like in Bucha or Erpin and will say that you see uh, uh, Ukrainian do this and they make some... But, by the way, it, already some people from Suja, so it's like a bit too late for that because there are already, I've seen from like Novaya Gazeta, I think, so like a few like Russian media outlets that call themselves independent. So they already reported they made interviews with some of the people that uh, were like in Suja and already there are no stories about Ukrainians killing anyone because they do not. And they are not destroying like out of spite anything like civilian buildings and stuff. So Russians, uh, the local residents, I do not say like, yes, they want to be a part of Ukraine. Also, honestly, nobody wants this. Just so it, it, it's clear, Ukraine doesn't <laughs> want these people to be a part and of the, Ukraine. And this, and this land. Yeah, and this land. So, and I think that's where we should come back. But like when we talk about Nazis and Kursk, Kursk and Ukraine and Kursk, it's very different. So Nazis, it was like an offensive to have this land to occupy them. Yeah, destroy the know? national yeah. nationals there. Also, and USSR. I don't like you, we had this like statement remember like this is the first incursion into Russia's land since World, World War, War II. II. I don't like mm -hmm. it a bit so like it sounds massive and great for Ukraine but I don't like it because that means like uh, USSR equals Russia. Mm -hmm. It is it was not just Russia so it was also like other nations including who, Ukraine, yeah. Belarus, Baltic states occupied, all countries occupied by Soviet Russia. Yeah, so it's a bit different in numbers, first of all, and second of all, Ukraine has captured like the territories not just to capture them. That's not the, you know, final goal because that's just to make sure like it's a buffer zone from where the attacks on Sumo region and Kharkiv region cannot mm -hmm. be conducted. That's the point. Yeah, I remember when President Zelensky spoke uh, at the end of 2023 that our main goal for 2024 will be securing Kharkiv and Sumy from border artillery strikes. And by uh, creating that safety zone on a border area, uh, it is extremely easy to drive away Russian artillery, which was destroyed there. And the only danger will remain uh, Russian planes, Su-34, with glide bombs, and which they can be downed again from Kursk region with some and, uh, air defenses. Was yes yesterday. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it, it has already been reported yesterday about downing of one Su-34. But yet we need 100 missiles on Russian air bases with Su-34s, and not uh, talking about 100 missiles on Kiev, which already because has been. because um, let's uh, let's um, uh, let's talk about these uh, bombs of uh, th that is used by uh, Su-34. It's a bomb, yeah. it's a gl a glide bombs that is uh, very short range. And well, no, it's not short range. It's 70 kilometers. Uh, it's, uh, in in terms of Ukraine, uh, it couldn't uh, reach the Kiev. It's only Kharkiv. Yeah, Could yeah. Be. So it's so a danger for Kharkiv still. Uh, yeah, but but uh, to. Um, to hit with this, uh, these bombs, you must uh, came close to the uh, front line, and it's a uh, danger for the. But still, we don't have that many air defenses, Western air defenses, which can down those uh, suicide force. We have a couple of uh, F-16s, yes, but uh, as soon as I know, they were not reported uh, in combat right now, and they are the rivals. They there will was down a, even those. a statement that they were not going to be in combat soon. Yeah, like because there's no for missiles for them. Yeah, it, like it's still too risky to engage with them in this like combat missions. Yeah, so 100 missiles should be directed it, at the airfields and not on Kyiv. Uh, it will be. Mm, I, I I want to point on another mm, uh, to, to, to talk about another point that uh, uh, you said that Volodymyr Zelensky uh, talked about the security and Putin talked about the buffer zone for you <laughs> for yeah, Russia. I remember and, that. And we, uh, he get the buffer he zone. He got the buffer zone. Yes. I, what, do, I what, do not uh, see any problems. What is the problem? And, and, and maybe it is um, uh, an answer why uh, Ukrainian is not uh, reacting on uh, this event. Ah, because so you think it's part of the negotiation process? So we are negotiating like creating no, no, buffer no, 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 zones? No, 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 no. You see, Putin uh, made, uh, made some goal for uh, Russian mm -hmm. army, made a buffer zone. 
there are bu bu buffer zone. Why he, yeah, so should, it's, he, he should react? It's a great Russian success. Uh, success, yes, yes because because uh, it's gray zone uh, on the border with Ukraine. <laughs> what is yeah, what like they got an order, they d did it. Yes, and and okay. that's why and okay. that's why Kremlin uh, d uh, does do doesn't do anything because the goal is achieving. Mm -hmm. Also, like jokes aside. Um, still, I think some people miss a point that it's not like they say, like, so uh, people who support Russia, like, you'll get destroyed. Uh, Ukrainians are not there for a long time. Uh, who said we had to be there for a long time? The fact that, first of all, did you see Putin's face? during the meeting he convened like it's worth it the the All guy the, Botox was the, the guy yes even <laughs> botox did not help like the guy was shit in his pants at least he was furious like he tried to hide it and we are not this big experts who try like to look at the face and see like oh he he thought that and that but you, you can you know it's pretty obvious w what he was uh, what he felt at that moment uh so yeah still like even if it's for a few weeks a few months, it helps to prevent attacks on Sumy and Kharkiv. It helps to get closer to destroy some of the military sites in Russia, air bases as well. I think it's still like it's a success, like of these and also the specific gas, the gas transit through Ukraine goes through the Suja yeah. gas transit yes. station. And, and from the military point, uh, it's another. Uh, Mm, an, 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 another thing that uh, uh, if probably Ukraine uh, will come back to the Sumer region in a day or in a week, so uh, Putin will, uh, the Russian um, army, uh, Russian generals will uh, be, um, they will uh, defend all the border fr uh, from Ukraine because they uh, they thought that uh, Ukraine will not invade in Russian territory, will not. Um, uh, it, will, it will be only s some small groups, not uh, big. And if the second time Ukraine will uh, go through the border, it will be a decisive, it will be a critical point for Russia. Because one, uh, now many experts said that it is uh, some, um, it was, uh, it was an uh, unreadiness of Russia. It was un uh, because they d don't. Uh, avoid. Readiness, you are in a war. Hello. Um, they they thought that uh, Russian borders oh, is uh, unbroken. And that's, and that's the point. It's great that this showed the actual state. And and and, and, and uh, imagine uh, it will be it will, it will happen the second. Second time, it will be it will be the shock for uh, for all there because now uh, some uh, some people. I think they're shocked enough already. No, <laughs> uh, uh, many many generals said uh, Russian generals said uh, it's uh, some excess. It, it, it's it's some something something. Uh, it's luck. a, it's Ukra a tragic Ukrainian, mistake, as they say. Uh, yes, yeah. tragic mistake. Ukrainian luck. Uh, Ukrainian uh, something else and. Uh, as uh, old um, old rule, one uh, time it's uh, uh, it's an accident, two times it's a coincidence, and the th three time it's a rule. I think the coincidence, uh, if it will be a coincidence, and the second time Ukraine will pass through the Russian uh, border, it will be um, it will change all the Russian. Um, society. It, it, I don't it, think it, so. It, it's, it's changed right now because... Yeah, it's changing now, but like we also have these memes like, oh look, uh, Russian citizens went to protest against uh, things that happened in the Kursk region and there is like a, 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 an empty square. They well, you you didn't see the uh, <laughs> the Rostov Stadium with a, a stream Kursk we are with you. Oh wow! And and, and humanitarian uh, help from. Oh, by the way, <laughs> uh, I'd like to mention it's important that Russia is pulling out the humanitarian aid from the temporarily occupied territories to the Kursk region. Mm -hmm. Is it? Uh, isn't that like, like? disgusting <laughs> isn't that like dumb and <laughs> awful <laughs> like the entire the everything that is touched by russia actually like every piece of news and like uh, you for know. me uh, the funniest thing was uh, when the russian soldiers from the zaporizhia front 
uh, make a video. We are supporting Kursk. Why you are supporting? <laughs> Go and fight. Yeah, while you are <laughs> the soldiers. For example, near Pokrovsk, why are you there? Go support the Kursk <laughs> and, region and, and defend your your yeah. land. Because <laughs> even if you like, if you capture another like Ukrainian uh, village town. Uh, Okay, destroy it to the ground. Yeah, you destroy it to the ground, you don't get anything. You only have the, a very problematic piece of land. Everything destroyed, just like, not destroyed, wiped out. Nothing. Dead bodies all over the ground. Uh, and that's the point to be proud. That's something you're proud of, while your, your own land is not your own land at this point. That's the, uh, like, as Biden said, a great dilemma for Putin. He, the guy was very brief. He was like, it's a great dilemma. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. He's just not, he's relaxed at this point. He's soon to be retired. He's like, that's a great dilemma. Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, could, could you uh, uh, return to this point after uh, half of a year? When I yeah, when I, <laughs> uh, as we all know, all the retired generals, NATO, NATO generals, they become very bold when they are retired mm -hmm. and they can finally... Uh, offer these amazing plans how Ukraine could, you know, defeat Russia. Yeah, so they are very worried when they are in post and then when they are retired, they will lead the offensive. Yeah, somewhere from Berlin, yeah. I don't know. Um, the Berlin, comfortable chair. Berlin part yeah. was, was uh, I, I want one point, is, uh, remind one point, that if I would, mm, if I, I suppose I will not be a Russian, but if I will be a Russian in Suja, I will be very afraid because I know how Russian is fighting on ah, the land. Yes, yeah. we yeah. all know the, the, the fact that uh, Russians should be afraid not of Ukrainians destroying their uh, cities and towns, but Russians, because they are currently suffering from Russian air bombs. And one, uh, and one more point, uh, uh, as you know, the governor of, uh, acting governor of Kursk region Smirnov said that uh, refugees from Kursk regions will be sent to the Zaporizhia region. Yeah. On the occupied territory. And uh, uh, do you know why they do this? I don't know, but I know that Ukrainian authorities uh, suggest that uh, we also have no humanitarian corridor for Russians, not only to Russia, but to Ukraine. Yes. and yeah, Not and like temporary occupied territories, but just Ukrainian territories. Uh, but uh, uh, as, as we... Uh, Pasha told yesterday in Daily Repub, uh, the, the, there are f several points why they move uh, re refugees to the, the Parisian region. Because, first of all, because if, if some um, citizen of Kursk region will come to Nizhny Novgorod or St. Petersburg and... <laughs> Uh, from and Suja, yeah. Fr yes, and told everyone what is happening there, uh, all the people will, will begin to thought. I don't think that Russian will <laughs> begin to thought, but... Yeah. And uh, that's why they must be sent uh, to the point where they of couldn't course. speak with uh, ordinary Russians. That's another, like, that's another example of when Russians have to preserve their face, their like imperial face of a big, great country. They will do any harm to their own people if it helps them to, pursue, to, like, to pursue this goal. Uh, and to pursue they this will goal? Kill, we all know that they kill their own people to make provocations. Uh, to pursue this goal, they made an anti-terrorist operation in these three regions, Kursk, Voronezh and Belgrade. So uh, the citizens of this region couldn't cross the uh, internal border of Russia. So uh, if you want to go to your uh, relatives in the far, far East or Buryatia, for example, uh, you couldn't do this because, because on the border you will be, you will be stopped uh, yeah. because you know something and, they, uh, and you will be killed, you will be maybe returned to some um, refugees may be sent to occupied territory of Ukraine. And this is also one of the points to hide the truth as a blocking of YouTube. Yeah, just you see, when Russians think that, oh, that's great, Ukrainians being killed and terrorized and captured as uh, like prisoners, and it will never happen to us because we will be protected by Russia, they forget that they are not, in fact, protected by Russia. Because the, um, like this empire state only protects itself, the, not its people. The point is that Russia can only fight on the offensive. Also, yeah, partially, maybe um, you have a point, but I don't know. We will n not know 
about the uh, like this fact like on the example of Kursk because there was no defense like it was it did not just exist. No, they had defense uh, built for 30 billion rubles last year uh, like dragon teeth. Oh, great <laughs> way, great uh, moment to also remind yeah. about the corruption in Russia. Yes, yes, so yes, yes. yeah, uh, 30 billion rubles is nothing. Uh, some Western newspaper wrote that Ukrainians needed three tank shells to break through the defenses? Oh. Mm -hmm. Maybe. It's, uh, you see, uh, Russian corruption, we see it in the uh, Russian army because uh, when uh, mm, it was told about the thousands of tanks and most of them are broken right now. And mm -hmm. they, must, they use five tanks to make one of them and, and it, uh, it also very difficult. We, we, saw, we, we see that uh, all the stocks of tanks is empty now because there are, in numbers, there are many, too many tanks uh, Russia, uh, in Russia, but in fact, all of them, it's uh, like a piece of steel. Yeah, so let's yeah. turn into the uh, basic yeah. question. I, th I think missiles. that we can actually sum it up and finish. Uh, first of all, you have an intrigue whether we'll still be talking about Kursk region in our next episodes because we don't know how long it will be, like how long the operation will be. Also, I'd like to mention, like, you know, just so you can read about it after the episode, uh, Financial Times has reported that Ukraine and Russia begin talks on exchange of prisoners captured in Kursk. So. Yesterday, uh, Ukrainian ombudsman said that it was the first time when Russia, Russia initiated... Russia appealed to Ukraine and <laughs> not Ukraine appeal mm -hmm. to Russia, which also is a great sign. Are you haters gonna hate and say anything about like, oh, Ukraine will be in eliminated in Kursk, blah, blah, blah. See what is happening. They are feeling, they feel weakness. They are very vulnerable at this point. And also do not forget that we talked about a lot of missiles destroying Ukrainian cities before Kursk as well. So when we were talking about negotiations and peace, Putin still fired missiles at Ukraine. So nothing has happened, nothing, nothing has changed for us, you know, significantly. And uh, even it, it got better. So because as of now, they have a problem of Kursk and they're a bit distracted. And, you know, what's helping us is great for us. So that's it for today, I guess. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this conversation. And of course, we hope that you will subscribe on our YouTube channel. And don't forget to follow news on our Telegram our Twitter and our Facebook because we try to post everything efficiently so you can see the news about Ukraine first. Thank you. Enjoy. And be aware of the rockets. Of course. <laughs> okay.